Hello guys, today I want to demonstrate you and showcase you a new package that I found online, Livewire Wizard by Vildan Bina from Kosovo. And it allows you to transform your form into several steps. So if we scroll down the GitHub readme, this is how it should look. So steps on top and then some fields on the first step, on the second step and stuff like that. And I decided to ask my colleague Nerius to transform a default Laravel Breeze registration page. So I found an example image online. So four fields. Why don't we transform? This will be the first step name, then email will be the second step and the passwords will be the third step. And the result is like this. First, I will demonstrate you and then I will show you the code. We register. As you can see, the form is with three steps. I will use fake filler Chrome extension to fill in the name, then email, then passwords and submit. And now I'm in, in the Laravel project dashboard. So how does it work? So if we read the official documentation, after you do compose require, of course, you need to install live wire beforehand. And also it requires Alpine JS version two or three. It doesn't really matter as I understand. And also it generates the form based on tailwind. Now usage, you need to create a live wire component. So make live wire wizard, for example. And then that component should extend wizard component from that package. So this one, and then there are some things that you need to specify in the component. The main thing probably is the model. So that package assumes that all your form is related to one model, which will be saved at the end. And if it is edit form, for example, you can find the whole object of that eloquent model by this property, find or new this user ID, for example, and then you can call that wizard like this with the parameter of user ID three. And the step of the wizard is a separate class that you need to create manually, for example, at app step, and then each step defines a few things, the view, the blade view, then what fields are inside of that blade view. And the whole wizard is working with a thing called state. So you need to merge to the state, the result of the fields, then you may choose icon, then you may choose title at the end. And then you can put the validation rules here for state dot name dot field. And then if that step is the last one, you need to add a save method, which means you actually save the whole thing. Now, how did it work in my case of registration? So we installed the default Laravel breeze, but instead of those form fields, we add live wire register wizard. And this register wizard is in app HTTP live wire register wizard. And inside we define the steps. We define that we're working with user model, we define the steps and each step, for example, name step, they are all in app steps folder. And here I define the view and that view name step, for example, it's just copy and paste from the Laravel breeze blade file with wire model state name. That's the only difference probably. And similarly, email step, almost the same and password step, almost the same. It's just wire model to state dot something. And then if we go back to our name step, as I showed from the documentation, we merge only the name field here. The icon is check and the validate state name. We list all the potential validation rules and the title is name. Those validation rules were previously in the Laravel breeze registered user controller. So this is how it validated all the fields. So we just transform this into one step this into another step and this to a third step. And then at the end, in the password step, we define the save method, which is almost identical to the Laravel breeze, we create a user, we call the event. So basically, copy and paste or cut and paste from here. So it all worked, the package worked well, except for one thing that I've commented out. And let's get back here. And I will show you on the email step, the default validation rule is unique users. So email should be unique, right? If I add that to the state email and try to register, so register, the name should be okay, then I put in the email. And then I get an error column not found unknown column state email in where clause. So by default, that unique rule is trying to work with state dot email. And I'm not sure how to fix it. Maybe it is in the documentation. Maybe there's GitHub issue already created around that. But I just wanted to show you that this package is still in early stages. And if you notice something that doesn't work for your form for your case, report to the author of the package and fix that together as a team effort. But generally, it's really convenient package to have multi step form. 
in Livewire. Speaking of Livewire, I have my own set of components, including multi-step form here, but not as Laravel package, but more as an example of a components. You may check that out as well and check out other 39 components, which has a symbolic price of $39 at the moment at livewirekit.com. By purchasing that, you're supporting this YouTube channel so I can continue daily videos for you guys. See you in those other videos.